Welcome back, everyone. As you know, you're never more than 10 minutes away from local weather here on Action News Now. And a familiar face back with us in the morning, Court Clopping joining us. So if you weren't with us yesterday, you won't be surprised today because Court is back. And you I know am. what else is back? Hot weather. The heat. <laughs> yeah, well, after yesterday, it never left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and getting a look at what we're seeing outside as we start off your Tuesday, it's a warm start to the day. Now, this would be very comfortable for the afternoon. It would also be around 15 degrees below average for the afternoon, but nonetheless, mid 70s for most of the valley right now, low to mid 70s in the foothills to start off your Tuesday morning, 50s in most mountain areas right now. So it is very warm for the start of the day. If you have some things you want to get done outdoors, get them done this morning. It's going to be very toasty out there this afternoon. Winds currently out of the east, Fairly light for most areas, 8 miles an hour for Orville. We're going to see a shift in winds. They'll be out of the south to around 10 miles an hour this afternoon. Could see some gusts around 15 miles an hour, but that's about it. The heat advisory is in effect now for the Valley, Foothills, and for Trinity County. For Trinity County, that expires at 10 p.m. tonight. For Siskiyou County, that goes into effect at 10 a.m. and lasts through midnight. For the Valley and Foothills, this is in effect now, and it lasts through 8 p.m. on Saturday. So the heat wave extends as we head into your upcoming weekend. Satellite and radar this morning. Skies are clear as we head out the door early on today. High pressure along the southwest is the dominant feature in your forecast. But today we do start to see a little bit of influence from low pressure heading towards the west coast. So what this is going to do, it's going to pull a little bit of moisture into our region, give us a chance for some instability, mainly in mountain areas. So the Sierra, a chance for some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and evening. For the areas closest to the Oregon border, there's also a slight chance for a little thunderstorm activity. Heading into your forecast on Wednesday, it's mainly centered close to the Nevada border. So that's what we're going to be seeing out there for tomorrow afternoon and evening while valley areas stay dry, but we'll have a few thin clouds heading in. And then as low pressure tracks off to the east, high pressure builds back in. That heats us up for the end of the work week. So we do get even hotter Thursday and Friday. Saturday, that ridge finally starts to break down a little bit. We see some influence from that low pressure dropping down from the Pacific Northwest. That will result in the cooling trend this weekend and a chance for a few light mountain showers moving in. For today, temperatures triple digits for most of the northern mountains this afternoon. Mid to high 90s in the Sierra later today. Also mid to high 90s in the foothills this afternoon. Valley areas ending up in the triple digits. 107 for Redding, 106 in Red Bluff. Mid Valley areas also in the triple digits later today. And Julia, the heat continues as we head into your weekend. Up to 107 degrees for Chico Thursday and Friday. Redding up to 110 degrees on Friday. Then falling back into the 90s Sunday into Monday of your extended forecast.